Hey Tubesters, it's Arvin for a song, The Bougie Mystic, and, um, so sorry, <laughs> I did not realize, uh, how quickly the time got away from me. Um, I had to do some spell work, and, and I, I was talking to someone, and, you know, I actually got off the phone in enough time to do it. I, I don't know what happened. I think I was just, well, I was also working in, um my book of traditions or we'll just say grimoire so i think between the talking and the grimoire writing and then doing this spell uh, i just um i just lost track of time uh and it's already the next day so i'm gonna try and do this as quickly as i can uh this time the prompt is uh what spirits do you work with and how do you work with them um the spirits that I work with, I'm going to take this in in the in the sense of just actually no, I'm going to go full spectrum. So I feel like in the in the witchy community, uh, spirits it kind of is like an umbrella term that and, and do correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like it's an umbrella term that can include like deities and entities, nature spirits or whatnot. Um, so I'm going to take it to mean that just because I kind of work, I feel like if I just answer it in the way that I define spirits, it's going to be kind of a short answer. Uh, so we'll start off with spirits. So the actual spirits that I work with, um, is pretty much just ancestors, though I have considered, um, entertaining working with the unseelie court I'm not exactly sure how i would go about that um to be honest maybe it really would just be a studying of the unseelie court um i don't know if i would really have any need to work with the unseelie court so maybe it will just be like a, a studying approach at least for this first time um but then of course the ancestors and in bohemian tradition ancestors is so much more than just blood um, it's both, uh, ancestors of your blood, but also of your faith. So any, like, uh, basically any, uh, witches would be a, a simple way of putting it. Um, but then it also goes into, uh, the ancestors of all earthlings that are divided into fauna and flora. Um, humans are part of the fauna because we are animals or part of the, of the mammal kingdom specifically so then you would go into all of those ancestors as well um another one specifically would be crows in bohemian tradition we see crows as like the physical manifestations of ancestors that have crossed over to visit us or send us messages or whatever um i'm trying to think any more spirits um i guess we'll just move on to entities um uh, the Anku, uh, we, we don't work with them that regularly, but this is a time where I make the Anku Kuli, uh, oh, I need to write that in my grimoire as well, I almost forgot, uh, but the Anku Kuli is like a, it's basically a, a spiritual magic witchy doll, um, and I, I use doll kind of loosely because it doesn't really look like one, but, Did you hear the snap, crack, on pop? I do like that very much. Um, plus it'd be, what was I saying? Oh yes, the, the doll is meant to protect us to not be visited by death. Um, basically, in, in, in short terms. Uh, I do plan on making a video talking a little more about it specifically, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it now. Um, but yeah, we also work with them, like, if we want to do any, uh, like, opening of the, of the gates. Um, trying to think what else. Uh, we also obviously work with the, um, the, the house spirit. I'm, I'm blanking on the, on the term right now. I think it's the deck. Um, trying to remember. It, it's so like easier when you're like doing the work. I was like, oh, I do this or that, but it was like when you're on the spot to answer the questions. I, I feel like that's when I start drawing blanks. Mm, okay, I guess then we'll just go into deities. Obviously, Hecate, 
Um, I think I do. Oh, oh, I knew I was forgetting something. So another entity would be the, um, we'll just call it a hellhound. I think that's a good word for it. Um, there's a specific hellhound connected to my matron, um, that I will be, I think I'm going to work with this year. I'm also considering, I, I don't know what it is, but I always associate Cerebus, the three-headed, um, black hound with Hecate. Um, so I'm considering working with that this year, or at least exploring any validity, um, that might have with a connection to Hecate. Um, let's see, what else? Um, hmm, I already said ancestors. Uh, oh, I guess we can talk about plants. So, oh yeah, I forgot to talk to y'all about the plant spirits. I'm gonna make a video talking more about that as well, but, um, basically, uh, we make these, mm, I don't know what simple term to call it. We'll just call it like, um, like, I guess a spirit vessel. Yeah, we'll just call it a spirit vessel. It, it technically falls under a coldly as well, but it's, we'll just call it a spirit vessel. Yeah, we'll call it that. Um, and it uses the roots of certain plants. Um, the one that all Bohemian, well, I say all Bohemian, but all magical practicing, all uh, Bohemian that uh, follow and work the traditions have worked with this particular plant spirit for decades. Blessed be this little ribbon won't fucking go down, but whatever. Um, and that's we'll just call it the Datura spirit. Now it is, I do need to preface by saying that when I say Datura spirit, unless I'm specifically a, uh, referencing um, Jasmine Ambrosia's book um, and the spirits within it that I colloquially, I can't say that word, but lovingly call the Ambrosian spirits, unless I'm explicitly saying that or specifically rather saying that, um, Datura spirit, um, is some uh, a traditional spirit that we've worked with for oh at least generations if not maybe a century or so um I, it does have a name but i can't share that with you <laughs> um and the the terrorist spirit in the bohem tradition is a female nature um and if i remember correctly i think the one in the book is male in nature. I, I could be mistaken. Um, so I did want to make that little clarification. Um, oh, I guess another thing is that I work with spiders a little bit more. I feel like October in particular is when a lot of spiders, um, become present. Um, I, I, it's probably having to do with, like, the cold and stuff like that, but I feel like even outside I'd be seeing more spiders in October. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, I think that's it. And I, what well, I, you know what, I just realized I didn't really explain how I work with them, did I? Um, so with Hecate, uh, I kind of see her as like a, a heralder or herald dress. I, the one who heralds Samhain. <laughs> Let's call it that way. Or call it that. Um, the hellhound, um, the one that worked with my matron, that's something I've used for a lot of like, uh, offensive protection, uh, especially like attacking enemies. Um, it does involve uh, giving uh, raw meat as a, I think it's pronounced oblation. I think I've been saying olation all these words and that's like the wrong word. It's actually oblation. Um, and then obviously a, a red wine as a libation to that spirit or entity rather. Um, Let's see, ancestors, I feel like we all know how we work with ancestors, right? Um, you know, you can work with them, like, for anything, honestly. Uh, oh, we'll talk about the, the plants. So the Datura... How, how do I say it? Because I don't want to go too much, because it's already going into, like, ten minutes, but... So we have, like, the Glossberry plant, and the Datura plant, and the Chicory plant, and, um the uh mandrake plant those those are the, like some of the main ones that we work with and um uh, you know what because i'm going to make a specific video 
and it's already like this one's going so long um i'm gonna cut it off here uh but yeah i'm gonna make a specific video um i feel like i've addressed all the other ones if if i forgot one or you're more curious um do leave a comment below um and i'll try and answer it um but yeah definitely stay tuned after this this uh tag video is over um definitely look out for the the plant i might do them individually so like a deterra spirit a mandrake spirit glossberry glossberry is what we refer to i did forget to mention this glossberry is what we refer to um uh or what y'all would refer to as uh, uh american black nightshade so i did forget to mention that and before i get cut off today's witchy shout out is Oh dear, what day are we on? Let's see, we started on 19th. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, this is technically 23rd prompt. So this is Underneath the Veil of Marigold. Um, I think she used to be called One Fit Bruja? Or something of that nature. So definitely check her out. She's been um, posting some videos. She's kind of... Just check her out. We'll just phrase that as that. As always, thank you for watching. Abundant and eternal blessings. I will try to upload tomorrow's video in a more timely fashion. Um, I won't make any promises because, well, I haven't been. I think like, more than half of these I have been like uploading late. So, but I am dedicated. I am going to get these done. As always, thank you for watching. Abundant and eternal blessings. Mwah. Oh, where's the lens? There it is.